happy Wednesday performing out studio but family. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. It is time for another acting class with Diana. Today we're doing Mother Goose the Emotion. I'm in my Mother Goose outfit. I always love finding I, I do love finding costumes to wear when I teach classes, well, when I'm able to, because acting is, you know, we wear costumes, even if they're modern day and nowadays, you know, whatever we're wearing right now is the shirt takes place in the 21st century. I've just always loved um, dressing up in costumes. It's one of the reasons I love acting, to get to pretend to be somebody else or embody somebody else. So I'm dressed in my little Mother Goose Be Emotion outfit. But before that, before we get to our exercises today, let's do a little moving and grooving. We always start out every class warming up. for acting, for going on set. Even if you're in your trailer, you do the little energizing work. I always want you to pick what works for you. That's why I like to do a freestyle physical warm up. Because it's so important to be relaxed, to have energy. So, let's do our breath work. Remember, we inhale for seven, hold for seven, exhale for eight. We do that five times. Ready? And inhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hold, oh, sorry, start again. <laughs> All right, so we, we make mistakes, we make mistakes. Let's do this again, ready? And inhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hold, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Exhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And again, inhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hold, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Exhale, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Again, inhale, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, four, two, three, four, five, six, seven, exhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're going to do two more. Inhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven, hold, two, three, four, five, six, seven, exhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and the final one. You guys, really good, and let's do, really good, guys, let's do one more. Inhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven, hold, two, three, four, five, six, seven, exhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Very good guys, because we a really good job. So now we're going to do our Mother Goose, like what I like to call Mother Goose Re-Emotion. Okay guys, so now we're going to go into our Mother Goose Re-Emotion. So again, I'm going to give you the first phase of a nursery rhyme. We're not going to do the whole nursery rhyme, just the first um, two or three sentences of the nursery rhyme. And then we'll put an emotion on it. So, the first we're going to do, we'll go neutral, and then we'll go to the emotion. So the first one is, Mary had a little lamb whose sleep was white as snow. So that's all you need to do. Mary had a little lamb whose sleep was white as snow. Just that little bit, okay? So let's get that, try that one more time. A neutral. Mary had a little lamb whose face was white as snow. Good. Now we're going to go to the emotion. So when you go to the emotion, when I pick the card, you're going to say that with that emotional um, feeling, with that feeling, with that emotional impact. Okay? And I'm going to give the answer. So again, it would be Mary had a little lamb. Oops, is that it's snow? And here's the emotion. It got very noisy outside my house. <laughs> but here's the emotion. The emotion is anxiety, that feeling of nervousness, right? So your emotion is anxiety. The, the phrase Mary handles them. The sleep is the snow, the feeling, the emotion, the emotional state of being is anxiety. Okay? So, a feeling of nervousness, right? Ready and action. Mary had a little lamb who sleeps with by the snow. So, how does it feel in your body? I want your whole, your, your voice, everything to get into that state of anxiety. The line again is Mary has a little lamb who sleeps with the snow. Ready and action. Good. Again, we're going to say the line Mary has a little lamb with that feeling of anxiety. And Mary has a little lamb who sleeps with the snow with that feeling of anxiety and action. Good, good, and one more time. Anxiety, Mary had a little lamb with pizza by the snow, and action. Good guy, good, shake that off. Shake that off, really let it go, really let it go, okay? Take a couple deep breaths, shake that off. Um, and again, guys, when you're doing these, when you're thinking about the emotional state, um, I didn't say this earlier, but think of the reason. What is it causing? What would it cause the anxiety? What? Think of your moment before. What is, what might be, whatever that emotion is, what might be causing you to feel that way? Okay? So, let's do Mary Hand a little lamb again. Who sleeps with red as snow? That will be our same verse, a different emotion this time. Ready? So they go back to neutral. Mary had a little lamb who sleeps with red as snow. Say that neutral. 
Mary had a little lamb. Lucy said, let us know. We're back to the truck. Now we're going to the emotion. Grief. Grief. Sadness. Grief. All right, guys, when we go to grief, think, all right, really, what would be causing you grief? What is the loss that you're feeling? When you're saying Mary had a little lamb who sees it in the snow, it's from the emotional state of grief, right? How did the grief feel? How did the grief affect your breath? It may start to feel heavier again. Long as Mary had a lamb who sees the sun and snow, but feeling the emotional state of the grief and action. Say the line, the feeling of grief and action. Good, and again, and action. Mary had a little lamb. The emotional state of grief. And action. Good, one more time. And action. Mary had a little lamb who sleeps to let us know the emotional state of grief and action. Good, good, good. Shake that all off. Shake that all off. Okay, shake that off. We're gonna do a few more. Let's go to a different nursery run. Take that off. Let's take the boy blue from blow your horn, the sheep in the meadow, the cows in the corn. We'll just do that bit. Blue the boy blue, um, blow your horn, the sheep in the meadow, the cows in the corn. That's it. Say that neutrally one more time. Blue the boy blue, um, blow your horn, the sheep in the meadow, the cows in the corn. Good. Got that in you? Good. All right. Let's pick up the motion of state. Enjoy the outdoors again. <laughs> All right, I need to sound for my studio, okay? Our feeling is the gratitude. Gratitude. That's the emotional state. Gratitude. The line, little boy blue, come blow your horn. The sheep in the meadow, the cows in the corn. With a feeling of gratitude. Being grateful. What are you grateful for? Imagine the circumstance of what you're feeling grateful for. And your mind is, little boy blue, come blow your horn, the sheep in the meadow, the cows in the corn, and action. What the gratitude feel like? We're connecting our whole body, our voice, our breath. What does the gratitude feel like? How does it feel when you're grateful? Embody all of that. Remember, it's little boy blue, come blow your horn. The sheep in the middle, the cows in the corn, with a feeling of gratitude and action. Good, and one more time, and action. Good, guys, good. Let's shake that off. Shake it off. Shake it off. You know, we think that was a good feeling. We're going to shake it off anyway. All right, good. What you need to do, go back to neutral. All right, we're still doing Little Boy Blue. We're going to do one more with Little Boy, more Boy Blue. Then go on and do two more after that. Okay? 
So, but to just remember, little boy blue, come blow your horn, the sheep in the meadow, the cows in the corn. And I never know what these are either. So, yeah. Lucky, very similar. Okay, lucky, we got two happier emotions. Try to make liking feel a little bit different than gratitude, right? They're similar, but how are they different? All right? A little boy blue can blow your horn, the sheep in the meadow, the cow in the corn. Make gratitude, make a liking Have it a little different. Try to find that distinct difference between gratitude and being lucky. Okay? Whatever that is for you. The line, a little boy blue can blow your horn, the sheep in the meadow, the cow in the corn, from a state of, of lucky, feeling lucky, and action. Good, again, and action. All right, good, one more time. From a state of feeling lucky, Little boy blue can blow your horn, the sheep in the meadow, the cow in the corn, from a feeling a fate of regret, a feeling lucky, and action! Good job, good job, good job, good, good job. <laughs> Let's shape it off, good, okay. Our final two, all right? Okay, it is little boy, little bo, little bo peep has lost her sheep and doesn't know where to find them. So that part right there. Little boy, little boy, little boy, <laughs> little bo peep has lost her sheep and doesn't know where to find them. Okay, ready, again. Little Bo Peep has lost her sheep and doesn't know where to find them. And that was a neutral, from, is a neutral one more time. Little Bo Peep has lost her sheep and doesn't know where to find them. Good, good. All right, let's get our emotion. Again, guys, when we're doing these, Think of what, what is the moment before that is causing you to feel this way, right? There's a moment before we don't just have feelings. But our feelings are in reaction, always in reaction to something. But make sure you're really creating in your imagination what that might be, okay? All right, and the first one is <laughs> jealousy. Alright, from a state of jealousy. Little boy peep has lost their sheep and doesn't know where to find them. From a state of jealousy. Of like anger, resentment towards somebody. Right? Who might you be feeling really jealous of right now? Right? Again, the line. Little Bo Peep is a sheep and doesn't know where to find them. From a state of jealousy and action. Good, good, good. And again, Little Bo Peep is a sheep and doesn't know where to find them. From a state of jealousy and action. Really good guys, really good guys, the moment time. Little bit of peep is out to sheep and doesn't know where to find them. Feel that jealousy. Who do you see in the room right now in your imagination that you are so jealous of? Ready? And action. Good. Good guys, let's shape it up. Good job. Good job, we have one more to do, one more with little peep. Alright, our final one. 
Amazement. Okay, I like it when we make it end on a happy one. Amazement. Right? Amazement. Feeling amazement. Amazed. Little peep has who are you what is it what's happening right now? What is this is so amazing. Are you seeing someone you've always done to me? Like if you met Maybe Obama. I, that's someone who I would love to meet. The President Obama. If he were in the room, I would be amazed. <laughs> right? So that's personal for me. So who might be in the room with you that you're feeling so amazed? Right? Ready? And huh, the little peep has lost her sheep and doesn't know where to find them. Good, so that feeling of abasement, the line of the little peep is out to sheep and doesn't know where to find them. The feeling is feeling amazed, so amazement and action. Good, and again, and action. Okay, cool guys. We got to get them one more time. Little Bo Peep is up to sheep and doesn't know where to find them. Feeling the amazement and action. Good job, guys. Good job. Okay, guys. Really, really good work today. For your homework, for your creative work, I want you to either call me and leave a voicemail um, with you taking one of the verses we did and giving me three different emotions. So again, you can do Mary Had a Little Lamb, Little Bo Peep, Little Boy Blue, and I want you to do it in three different emotions, right? You can either make a videotape of it or call me and leave me a voicemail. So you're going to, again, give me the first verse of a nursery rhyme, one I gave you, or one that you're doing your own. I want you to do it with three different emotions and leave that either as a video tape or as a voicemail on my um, voicemail. And I will give you, always give you the contact information at the end of the video, guys, I found this song called Happy, so we're gonna, um, it's different from the Pharaoh version, but it's just an intermittent version got Happy, so we're gonna write out to that, and get out anything we need to release. Great class today, and I'll see you tomorrow. But really let go of everything we did today, good. Guys. For your creative work, please take a nursery rhyme. For the first line of oh, it, the three different emotions. <laughs> Give me any nurse friend you want. Please either tape yourself and send it via email to gejclass at gmail.com or send me a text or leave me a voicemail at 323 Again, for your creative work, please take a nursery rhyme to the first line of it. With three different emotions. It can be any news you want. Please either take it up and send it via email to dejclass at gmail.com or send me a text or leave me a voicemail at 323 364 2478.